Okay, so we're coming back. Okay, now that you have described uh, your family members, now we're going to describe, now we're going to describe famous people, okay? So uh, you're going to help me to describe these famous, these famous people, okay? Let's see. Uh -huh. Let's see, I'm going to pick, Andrea, tell me two sentences about this person. He's a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's, he has black skin. Uh -huh. Okay, he is black skin. Uh, he is funny. <laughs> and he's funny. Okay, perfect. Okay, funny. only two. Thank you. Okay. He's handsome. Okay, he's handsome. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, Sumara, tell me another one. You have one. He's handsome. He has a black eyes. Ah, he has black eyes. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Rosie, he's tell tall. me, tell me, uh huh. He's tall. He's tall. He's and tell tall. me one more. He's thin. And he's thin. Excellent. Okay. And he's thin. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay, the next person. Gather, yeah, tell me two sentences about her, please. Uh -huh. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, um, he has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Yader. Let's see. Tell me two sentences more. Hugo. He has long hair. She has blonde hair. Uh huh. And he he has thin. She is thin. Uh -huh. she, is, uh -huh, she is. Ah, she, thin. she, she uh -huh. has thin. Uh -huh, she is thin. Uh -huh. She is. Para, para, para delgado, yes. vamos a usar is. Uh -huh. ah, yeah. She is thin. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Shane, tell me two sentences more, please. Uh, her color is. Her color hair is. Dark brown. Dark brown, or yeah, it's like a combination, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And one um, more. I hair color is. Let me see. Black. Yeah, I her think. her eyes color are black. And hair. Yes. Okay. Only that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see the next person. Okay, the next person. Let's see. Manuel, can you tell me two sentences about him? Okay. He is um, thin. He is thin. Uh huh. Thin. Um, the hair is short. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Only, only two. Thank you. Okay. okay. His hair is short. Uh huh. Thank you. Lily, tell me two sentences, please. Uh, he has a black hair. He has a black hair. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, uh, um, He's a little bit handsome. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit handsome. <laughs> Not too much, right? <laughs> Not too much. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, let's see. Carolina, tell me two sentences about him. Mm, he has a black eyes. He has black eyes. Uh -huh. And how high do you, th how tall do you think he is? I don't know. 
We don't know. What, what about um, the others? What do you think, people? 1.9, 1.8. Ah, okay. So we can say that he's pretty tall, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Carolina. He's, he's young. And he's young. Yeah, he's very young. I mean, not, not so young, but he is not middle age. I think he's very young. Okay. Excellent. Let's see the next one. Andrea, tell me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's very fat. She's very fat. Uh -huh. uh, she has long hair. And she has long hair. Excellent. Uh -huh. Let's see, Tiomara. Tell me two sentences about hair. She's ugly. <laughs> She's ugly. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. She has black hair. And she has black hair. Excellent. Thank you, Tiomara. Um, let's see, Rosie, tell me two sentences about hair. She, she has, uh, she's a medium height. She's medium high, uh-huh. Okay, medium, she's medium, medium high. height. Uh, she's funny. And she's funny, okay, excellent. Thank you. The next one, the next person. Uh huh. Let's see, Yather. What do you think? He he has short hair. He has short hair. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. He is uh, friendly. He's friendly. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thank you, Yather. And uh, let's see. Let me ask uh, Andrea. What do you think, Andrea? Uh, he is thin. He is thin, uh-huh. Um, he is um, a middle tall. Middle, middle height or middle age? Middle age. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's middle age, yeah. I don't think he's very old. I think he's like middle age. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Something like that. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see the next one. I think this is the last one. Um, let's see, Lily, what do you think? Um, I think he's uh, brown, brown hair. He, he has, has a brown, uh -huh. hair. brown hair. Brown uh -huh. hair, uh-huh. Yes, and he has a... Uh, Maybe blue eyes. He has yeah. blue eyes. I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe, right? We don't, we don't see clearly. Uh, a little confused. I think yeah. it's blue ones. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Hugo, what do you think? He, he is the medium height. Mm -hmm. It's medium height. And he wear black jacket. And he wears a black jacket. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. And finally, Shane, what do you think? Shane, are you there? Or let's see. I will have yep. and, and Andrea tell me. Or Shane. Oh, sorry, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My internet is broken. Tell me. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me two sentences to describe him. Uh, the, him, he has a. Big ear. Big ears, <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> One more. Mm. And small nose. And small nose, a small nose, okay, perfect. 
Okay, uh, girls, do you think okay. he is handsome? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. He's good looking. Ah, uh, he's good looking. Nice, nice. Yeah, you can describe him as good looking or handsome if you prefer uh, this type of actor, okay? Nice, okay? So that's how we use adjectives to describe family members and also to describe other people, okay? We're going to continue with the next topic. Um, we're going to see modifiers, okay, with ing and also prepositions. Actually, I think this is something that you, that you use uh, all the time, but probably you don't know that we have a structure that we are following uh, to create some sentences, okay? Posiblemente eso ya lo sepan usar, pero eh, no, están, eh, no se han dado cuenta que lo están usando. Entonces, solamente vamos a ver eh, some structure about this, okay? Creo que eso lo vamos a terminar bastante rápido. Porque el próximo tema sí necesita algo de tiempo. All right. So let's practice this conversation. Listen to me. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you, uh, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's a tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, one more time. Hi, Raul, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Uh, do you see any new word? Alguna palabra que no, eh, que no reconozcan in this uh, conversation? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, that's, a good, that, that's a phrase to say, uh, es bueno verte. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. She couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. Esa es una expresión que se, eh, que se, que se puede usar eh, para eh, no pudo venir. Okay. She couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, es, no, es, no se tiene que tomar literal así como que no lo pudo hacer. Hmm. Sino que es una frase que se utiliza para decir que alguien no pudo venir. She couldn't make it. Okay. Or oh, he couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. She couldn't make it. Any other? Okay. Do you know the meaning of near? Near the window? Yes. Mm -hmm. Separado cerca de la ventana. Uh -huh. Cerca o... Uh -huh. Cerca de la ventana. Uh -huh. No está lejos, que sería for. Mm -hmm. Sería near, cerca. Okay, near the window. Okay, uh, we're going to practice this conversation. Let's see. Uh, Hugo, you are Raul and Carolina, you are Liz. Okay. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where am I? Oh, she called Mikey. She went... She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know any, any here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the it, woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall on the jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, it would like to meet her. Okay, perfect. I'd like to meet her. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Lily, you are Liz. And Manuel, you are Raul. Okay. okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she could make it. She went to concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go? 
and talk to Julia. She doesn't uh, know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she a woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall on one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I didn't like to, to meet her. Okay, perfect. And the last one. Um, so, Mara, you are Liz and um, let's see, Shane, you are Raul. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Yeah, I think Shane is having problems with the internet. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Um, uh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you, you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I did like to meet her. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. So we're going to see some... Yeah, tell me. En la última, oh, I'd like, esa contracción es de I would like. Yes, I would like. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I would like to meet her. Uh -huh. Y para I did, también se usa la misma contracción. Eh, para I did no tenemos contracción. Uh -huh. Ah, no hay. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. Sí. Solo se puede con didn't, que sería el did not. Pero Siempre para, para would va a ser solo la de. Exacto. Ah, solo para okay. would sería nada más la de. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Which, which one is she? Se traduciría como... ¿Quién es ella? Ajá. Uh -huh. O cuál es ella? Ajá. ¿Cuál es ella? Which one is she? Uh -huh. Perfect. All right. There are some structures here uh, that you can see that are very common. Casi, casi que, aparte de las estructuras que ustedes me estaban preguntando, las demás son bastante simples. Sin embargo, eh, nos podemos referir a una persona de acuerdo a la posición donde está o también de las actividades que está haciendo. ¿Ok? Entonces, esto es lo que vamos a ver ahora de cómo identificar este tipo de personas. Right? So, let's see. Uh, we're going to see modifiers with ING. Vamos a ver cómo se puede modificar a una persona o cómo se puede describir a una persona usando phrases in ING. Okay? For example, if you are in a party and you ask someone, who is your brother? Okay? You are new in the party and you don't know any person. And uh, maybe the person that you are with says, my brother is he, is here. And the person says, uh, who is your brother? Okay. You can say, ah, he is the man drinking soda. Okay. He is the man drinking soda. If you see, I have the word the man. Okay. El hombre o el chico. Okay. And then I am saying the action that he is doing. Okay. Y luego estoy diciendo qué es lo que él está haciendo para describirlo. Okay. Es por eso que se, llama, se llaman modifiers, porque están modificando un objeto, ¿ok? O porque están describiendo un objeto, ¿ok? He is the man drinking a soda, ¿ok? Who is your brother? Ah, he is the man drinking uh, a soda, ¿ok? Uh, if you ask, who is the teacher, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, usted se conecta el primer día y le dicen, ah, uh, who is the teacher, ¿ok? Ah, he is wearing, uh, he is the man wearing the striped shirt, ¿ok? He's the man wearing the striped shirt. In this case, he's the man wearing the white shirt, okay? Or the white t-shirt, okay? Es porque no está diciendo exactamente lo que estoy haciendo, pero sí lo que estoy usando, okay? Por eso se usa wearing, okay? Wearing. Uh, recordemos que para usar ropa utilizamos wear, no utilizamos use, okay? Es por eso que lo hemos puesto de esta manera. Wearing the white shirt in this case, okay? The white shirt, okay? Um, let's see. Um, let's see if you can identify this person. He's the man drinking soda. Who's the person here in the picture? Who's the man drinking soda? 
the name the green green teacher ah the one that has green shirt uh-huh okay the one that has green shirt uh-huh excellent yeah we cannot see what he's drinking i don't think he has a drink <laughs> okay so that will be difficult in the conversation uh we have the description um she is standing near the t near the window okay in this case the action is standing okay es que está, está parada, ok? She's standing near the window. Entonces bien podemos identificar que sería ella, ok? She's standing near the window, ok? Now, um, what, uh, in, if I ask you, for example, who is, your, who is your husband or who is your wife, ok? You, you will be able to describe him or her by saying the action that the person is doing, ok? For example, um, if I ask who is your son, or who is your daughter, you can tell me. Or if you ask me, uh, teacher, who is your sister? For example, and you see my, my family in the back. If you ask me, who is your sister? Ah, my sister is the woman uh, using the computer, okay? The woman using the computer. So I'm going to ask you right now, okay? Le voy a hacer preguntas de sus family members y usted me dice si es the man or the woman, ¿ok? Y luego dice lo que está haciendo, ¿ok? O simplemente hace lo que o simplemente dice lo que está haciendo, ¿ok? She is using the computer, ¿ok? Así de simple. Así de simple se puede responder una pregunta de who is, uh, who is your brother, who is your sister, who is your mother, and who is your father, ¿ok? Um, let's see, um, Xiomara. Do you have, or do you live with your, uh, you said, do you have children, Xiomara? No. No. Uh, do you live no. with your brothers or sisters? Yes, with my brother. Ah, okay. And your father? No. No. Mm. But if I ask you, uh, who is your brother? Let's say that there are more people there in your house. What is he doing right um. now? Mm -hmm. is the is the man driving a blue car ah driving a blue car excellent okay nice uh -huh. let's see um let me ask another person uh lily do you have yes. uh do you live with you um, do you have children yes one uh, one ah okay and how old is he or she she's 11 years old Ah, uh, she's 11. Okay. Um, what if you are in the in, in the school? Okay. Let's pretend that you are at school right now. Que usted está en la escuela con su... Iba a buscar a su hija. And if I ask, uh, who is your daughter? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, it's a girl mm -hmm. uh, waiting in the door. Waiting ah. for me. Okay, waiting for me at the door. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So that is what she is doing. Okay, yes, eso es lo que ella está haciendo. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, excellent. And the last one. Let's see. Um, Andrea, uh, what are your family members right now in your house? Who are the family members? And my husband and my daughter. Okay, and uh, let's say that there are two two girls there, okay? Maybe one is your niece and one is your uh, daughter. Who is your daughter? Mm -hmm. um, she, she uh -huh. is watching TV. Ah, she's watching TV, okay, perfect, okay. okay. Excellent, okay? So that is, uh, that is how we add, or that is how we include something else so that we can identify the person, okay? Siempre le agregamos esa acción para poder identificar a la persona de la que estamos hablando, okay? All right. Now we are going to see how to use prepositions. Ahora vamos a ver cómo se usan las prepositions in this case. Um, all right. In this case, we can use prepositions like, remember we have next to, in front of, near, uh, with, all the prepositions of place that we know, todas esas preposiciones del lugar que sabemos, in, next to, in front of, across from, okay? Todas esas nos van a, nos van a ayudar a, a tratar de localizar a la persona, okay? 
So um, over here I have an example. She's the woman with pink earrings, okay? In this case, uh, sorry, with is a preposition, okay? Entonces así como la describo, with uh, pink earrings, with uh, black glasses or transparent glasses, is a person with uh, a golden golden earrings or a golden necklace, okay? There are different uh, different propositions that we can use with that. Also, you can say he is the man next to the sofa, okay? Next to the sofa or sitting, well, in case it would be ing, but you can say is the man in front of the TV, is the woman, um, She's a woman next to next to the door, okay, in front of the door, etc. Okay, there are different uh, there are different prepositions that we can use. Okay, now one more time using your family members. Let's see. Um, now you are going to describe the person, but using a preposition. Ahora no me va a decir lo que está haciendo, sino que deme un punto de referencia. Okay using prepositions, para yo entender quién sería. Yo sé que no lo estoy viendo, pero, pero la cuestión es practicar eh, para identificar, eh, identificar a la people, ¿ok? Uh, let's see. Hugo, who is in your house right now? Uh, is the man? Yeah, but who are in your house? Is your mother, your father, your brother? Oh. Uh -huh. okay. uh, my my brother and my mother. Ah, your brother and your mother. Okay. And who is your mother? Uh -huh. Then uh, you need to tell me the preposition. Uh -huh. She's um, singing music. Ah, she's singing music. But the preposition? Is it next to, in front of? Uh, uh, in, in front of the computer. Ah, she's in front of the computer. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Right? Um, yeah, there. Who are with you right now in your house? My son. Your son. Okay. Uh, let's say that there is another boy there. There is another uh, kid. Um, who is your kid or who is your son in this case? Okay. He's the boy uh, with a computer. With a computer. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Okay. With a computer. Excellent. And finally, let me ask uh, Manuel. Who are with you right now in your house? Okay. My wife and my daughter. Your wife and your daughter. Okay. Who yes. is your wife? She's a woman with the with the pet. Ah, with the pet. Okay, nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Okay. Okay. So that's 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 how we use uh that's how we use that one. Okay, that's how we use uh modifiers. Sleeping. Sleeping. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. in that case you're using both. You're using the preposition and also the ing because you're telling me the action that he or she's doing. All right. So that is how we use modifiers, people. Okay. Or teacher. Or mm -hmm. well, I can I can say she she's a woman uh, is sleeping or está durmiendo. Yeah, she she is the woman sleeping. Uh huh. Sleeping uh -huh. is the correct answer. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's correct. Okay. Uh huh. She's okay. a woman okay. sleeping. Uh huh. Sleeping. Yeah, because in in okay. that case you are telling me the action, and that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I know that uh, in most of the cases, sé que en la mayoría de casos, estamos acostumbrados a usar el ing en una oración. Por ejemplo, she is wearing, she is drinking, she is eating, she is watching TV. Okay. Pero en ese caso también lo podemos usar para describir a la persona. Entonces, si se fijan, después de tener un sujeto, okay. She is the man. She is the woman. She is the boy. She is the girl. Okay. Uh, para describir a la persona también puedo usar estas eh, frases de ing, ¿ok? O simplemente puede decir esto. Usted puede decir, he's the man drinking soda, a soda. O 
simplemente me, ups, simplemente me dice esto. He is drinking soda. ¿Ok? Entonces, en ese caso también lo está describiendo, pero me está diciendo eh, qué es lo que está haciendo. Entonces, ambas respuestas están correctas. ¿Ok? Ambas están correctas. Si me dice, he is drinking soda, solamente busco a la persona que está tomando eh, soda y automáticamente ya, ya sé quién es. Ahora, si me dice, ups, si me dice, he is the man drinking a soda, igual, puede ser que hayan mujeres y hombres tomando soda, entonces, ya si me dice the man, ahí es un poco más específico. ¿okay? Entonces, cualquiera de los dos casos es posible. Uh -huh. Do you have any question, people? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. No? Ok, tomorrow we are going to practice this. Ok. Mañana vamos a practicar esto, pero si usted por casualidad quiere hacer ya eh, la parte de la plataforma, se la voy a mostrar para que vea eh, lo que tendrá que hacer en la plataforma. Un momento, un minuto. Ver, ver esa parte. Ok. Ok, ya me compartirlo ahorita. Okay, so this will be section, sería la 4.6, bueno aquí estaba ya, okay. Ah, oh, no, 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 no es la 4.6. Ah, es la 4.13. Okay. So in this case, it says, uh, rewrite the sentences using the modifiers with participles or prepositions. In this case, participles, los participles son los ing. Okay. Los participles son los ing. Entonces, aquí tengo un ejemplo. Mary is the beautiful girl. She's standing by the door. Okay. Aquí tengo las dos oraciones, únicamente las tengo que unir usando el modifier. En este caso, como la acción que ella está haciendo es standing by the door, puedo unir estas dos oraciones usando esta sola. Mary is a beautiful girl standing by the door. ¿Ok? Entonces, de eso se trata el ejercicio. Nada más de identificar si es una frase de ING o si es una frase de, de preposition y unirlas. ¿Ok? Incluso se puede ambas, standing, que sería el ing, y by, que sería la preposition. Pero media vez usted identifique lo que lo está modificando, con eso las puede unir eh, de manera fácil. ¿Okay? Vamos a hacer una juntos para que vean cómo es. Clark is a tall guy. Clark is a tall guy. He's wearing a blue a, a button-down shirt and cargo pants. ¿Okay? Entonces, eh, Well, in this case will be Clark. Bueno, aquí era tenía ya. Okay. Clark is a tall guy. Y entonces el, el, el modifier en este caso sería wearing a button, down shirt, and cargo pants. Todo eso es el modifier. Todo eso se, se, se eh, todo eso lo estaría describiendo a él. Entonces únicamente tomo todo esto y se lo agrego después de guy. Okay para que me, la respuesta me la dé como correcta. Uh -huh. Y en este caso, por lo que veo el ejercicio, eh, no tiene un punto, así que asegúrese que le ponga punto al final, ¿ok? Para que se le dé correctamente. Así que está bastante fácil, ¿ok? Solo para que vea, tengo la primera correcta. Okay. Clark is a tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants, ¿ok? So, any question? ¿Cuáles son, ¿cuáles son las preposiciones? Las prepositions. Next Ajá, next to, in front of. Aquí tengo una que se llama by. Ajá. 
by, near, mm -hmm. far, ok. Todas son prepositions of place. Las preposiciones del lugar son las más comunes. Y también hay una que sería with, uh -huh. con, ok. With. Uh -huh. Así como el ejemplo que tenía en el, en el, en el Word document que les estaba mostrando. Uh -huh. Son las prepositions. Ok. All right. Tomorrow we're going to do a practice. Uh, We're going to do a practice tomorrow about this, but if you want, you can do this exercise very easily, okay? Okay. Is there okay. any question? No, I have it. All right. So, uh, thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night, okay? And I hope to see you tomorrow. Please stay safe. Uh, take into consideration all the recommendations, okay, from the government. And take care, please. Everybody, okay. Bye bye. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye